And as you just saw, it was fairly easy to add the star and decorations to finish our Christmas tree. Hey, what's up guys, Jeremy here. So now that we have our spiral pad to decorate our Christmas tree, it's time to create the little star on top and to add colors to our decorations. Like I said in the first video, the colors to our decoration will kind of represent how you would create uh, welding settings that could change throughout your different uh, pad sections. So that's here for beauty reasons, but that has a real life, let's say, uh, application. So for the little star here, I went for a very simple approach. So I pretty much just created a bunch of targets here on top of the part reference frame. So if I double click here, activate the part reference frame, I'm gonna go to zero, I'm gonna go to zero, and then here, 950 as it's kind of the starting point. And I positioned my uh, turntable at 8,100. Uh, why there? Because it's kind of a, the closest point uh, from the last point I have in the main program we created. And I have my part uh, reference frame activated, so I'm gonna create a target. I have here a list uh, on Excel, so I will just kind of follow those points. That I kind of discovered them, let's say, uh, when I created the, the example. So I just kind of kept those in uh, an Excel spreadsheet so that I can just use them to show here. So minus 50, 970, and then minus 20, and then uh, 101, perfect, create a target, and then minus 60, press tab if you want, 40, 40, and then create a target, and then minus 20 again, and then still 14, uh, 1040, and then uh, zero, and 1080, create a target here. And then again, same thing, but with positive X value. So 20, oops, 60 and 1040, if I, don't mess up, that should be fairly easy. I can press minus a few times if I feel like the targets are a bit too big to see whatever I'm doing. So now it's oops, 50 and then 970, Let's create a target. And then finally we go back to the 090, but I won't create it again. And if I bring my, so here we have start like this, that, this, 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 perfect. So what I can do is here is select all of those, right click, rename group, star, star one to 11, right click, create program, just like that. I need to add another move L to the last section here, which is my star two, control V. Great, so just like that I have my star path. I can call this here star, click OK. I can uh, add that here to my main program, add instruction, program call, and then select star, click OK. Perfect. So if I look at those here, they have the, the positions, uh, they have the cartridge position, but they also have the, the joint value. So that's uh, the, the external axis value. So kind of unwind all of that here. 
I'm in fast simulation speed to see that everything is fine. I will slow down when it comes to this part here. Great. Great. And here we can see the transition between this point here and that point here. We don't have any collisions, so that makes sense. No collisions here, no collisions here in this transition. So that's what we are hoping slash expecting. Great. Okay. I'm going to toggle the oops. Solution speed anyway I want to have it here and that makes sense okay great so now it's time to add some color to this so I will remove here the display pad I will remove here the visible pad and I will hide this here I will hide here I'll go for control s as we did a lot of work without saving which isn't something I would recommend Okay, now I need to show you uh, something. So if you install RoboDK, you should have uh, also installed with VS Codium on your computer. So I'm going to remove that, sorry. And in um, with the files that I send, I will send you, you will have Python here and you will have weld on and then weld off. So if we open weld on here, you can and you should maybe take a look at that here uh, real quick. But here you will have a recipe list with a bunch of colors that you can add. So in this case, we went for color, which is just an alpha numerical value. By the way, here it's alpha, then the, oops, the alpha value, which is the transparency, followed by uh green green red and green red green and blue there is a comma missing here uh, but you can also just call some basic name color like red blue white yellow cyan magenta and all which will be recognized by python automatically so at line 95 you can create kind of a list so if i called weld on one it will uh call red if i will call uh weld on zero it will call color if i will call weld on blue it will call a uh, second color two sorry it will call blue and then three white and then f uh, four yellow so this will only work in simulation mode if you were in uh, other than simulation mode if you were trying to generate the code it will simply uh, use the number, the parameter, so this could be a parameter that you already created in your rod controller that you want to activate, so it can be weld on one, which could be a certain sine wave with a certain, uh, yeah, certain parameters of your, of your specific uh, project. So I will bring those two weld on and weld off to my program here. Uh, I will organize real quick things because I don't like having everything like that here. So I will go add folder and I will call uh, Python here. I will have well done, well done here. And then I will uh, create another one here. Add folder CFP for curve photo project. Your photo project will go in this one here. We'll add a folder and I will pets, let's say. Select those and bring them to pets. Oops. Great. So this way things are a bit more organized. I prefer it that way. So if you go to Christmetry done, you will see here under weld trigger, uh, you have weld top which called weld on one. You have weld mid, which called weld on two, weld on three, and then weld on four. So those are kind of a trigger to define, you could have just called weld on, but I prefer calling it this way. So you will have this way, uh, a program called 2D Python script, which with uh, the parameter one, which will 
activate red and then parameter two, two which will activate blue and then parameter three which will activate white and then four which will activate the yellow for the star so let's replicate that here we will um yes instead of calling it python weld trigger was a great idea i will add four sub programs bring them to weld three oops bring them to weld trigger weld uh we'll go weld red instead of weld tops we'll go weld blue weld white and then weld yellow and here what we'll do is right click uh, add instruction program call instruction we will call our weld on but we will come here and add one for the first one then uh, you can do the same here for all uh, the of the others so well on here two so parameter two whatever parameter two means in this case it's just changing the color but it can mean uh, other stuff well on three four so they are all here perfect then what we need to do is in our curve follow project we need to go and activate that so if you go to param event you'll be able to select um, your pad start and then pad finish go here and select uh, weld red for this one here and in this case here we'll go for weld off so that will just cut the welding setting so if i click update and if i run my top curve it will just uh, unwind itself and then start the path now you have your red here because you're activating the weld red setting whatever that weld red setting means at the beginning you can press escape two, two times to uh, close that up so if i go what i can do here show you you can right click more instruction copy uh, program events right click more and more uh, more option paste program events then i can come here and just change the weld red to weld blue instead click ok i could add more than one if i wanted in this case there is no uh, reason to do so but you have more than one program call to do here you can do so um program events and then here let's go for weld white click oops weld white click ok update here great and then for the star we need to do it manually so in this case here i will go just after the first point right click add instruction program call instruction i will go for weld yellow click ok and then at the end of the path i will add instruction program call and then i will select weld off to stop that here and in theory if we did everything properly and we press Control S. We go for our main program. We have a nice red path here. I can. By the way, this will be affected by the speed. If you want to have a nice, let's say, line, you need to have a simulation speed that is a bit lower. Otherwise, you will have kind of dots like this. Did I? Oh yeah, low and mid. Oh, I thought I would go blue and then white, but 
in this case, I kind of mixed those up. So I went white for the uh, blue for the low curve and then white for the mid curve. Not a big deal. Great. And then we should have here, I will slow that down a bit for the star. We have our star here. Great. So that's how I built this example. Obviously here explaining it like step by step took longer than me just doing it uh, at my speed. I can do that like within 20 to 30 minutes maximum, I would say. Uh, but in this case here, it took maybe like about an, a bit less than an hour to kind of explain you the details of how you would uh, go around and do that kind of project. So I hope you liked it. And in any case, have a great day, guys.